hello! Welcome to Fab Friday with Spiegel Mom Scraps. So I'm showing you here what my idea is or kind of my plan with regard to my layout for today. So I fussy cut these flowers from a Bella Boulevard paper and I've also cut a die cut that is going to be part of my background and we're going to back it in a little bit here. So I wanted to play with the Acritones paints from the shop from Shimmers. I love them. Oh my word, they're awesome. I have been having the best time playing with them and mixing them and doing fun things with them. Um, I actually have a couple more techniques and a couple more things I want to do with them, so you'll probably see them again <laughs> for the next couple weeks as I play. Um, so this is the yellow color, which is Over Easy. The three colors that I'm using today are Over Easy, Pinkadelic, and Three Sheets to the Wind. Three Sheets to the Wind is a white one, and it mixes with all the bright colors. So these die cuts that I'm painting here are from um, the Spiegel Mom Scraps shop. And they are free, the cut files are free. And they're um, baby themed this month because one of the Sparklers Christy had a baby. So to celebrate, we decided to create some cut files that um, are uh, baby themed. And they're super duper cute and they cut wonderfully. So those are the cut files that are cut on my silhouette there and I am just painting. So I'm going to take the rest of this pink and I'm going to take the rest of this yellow. I'm going to mix it all together to create a lovely orange color to put in the middle. So uh, this has kind of this layout or these these die cuts are going to kind of have it's going to start at yellow. I don't know if that's ombre or not but this is going to start at yellow, fade into orange and then down to pink. I don't know if that's that's technically not like ombre, but kind of, kind of, right? Like a little bit, maybe, when you're fading down through colors. Maybe, kind of. So <laughs> what I'm doing here is I'm just using all that orange because I would never be able to get it mixed up exactly the same again. And so now I just made some more pink and some more yellow, painted all the die cuts right there on my, on my silhouette mat. Super duper easy. And then I'm going to set them aside to dry. This paint dries super fast. And it doesn't warp your paper. It doesn't warp your paper at all. I love it. I love it so much. It's so much fun to play with um, yeah, if you just use it straight. So <laughs> this is all that extra yellow paper, all that extra yellow paint I'm putting in this Traveler's Notebook. Um, this is a Traveler's Notebook insert from another Sparklers Etsy shop. It's Scrapping Wonders. And someday, someday, so far I've just been painting <laughs> in it, just like this, just picking pages and painting in them. But someday I might want to create an art journal. I think my problem and the reason I haven't stuck with it or actually like started doing an art journal page is because I really like some cool art journal stamps. So if you have, you know, an idea of a good stamp company that has some like cool stamps with like cool quotes and stuff, leave leave a comment below let me know so this is a six by six paper pad from Paige Evans oh my heart collection and there's my little helper <laughs> he decides to make cameo so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back my cut fire but it's not quite gonna work so I'm gonna use a little bit of the off cuts from that Bella Boulevard paper to fill in the little holes that um, my six by six pad didn't cover and I just want to back that flower or, or that heart cut file and I just need color it doesn't have to be you know anything specific or just the same colors that are in the page and so I, I use just these off cuts to to cover up the holes that the 6x6 pad didn't cover easy peasy and then I'm gonna go and grab from my washi tape container that sits next to me this nice thick washi tape. This is from Fancy Pants. When I need to cover the back of a paper, I always go for the um, washi tape that is has the most on the roll because those big, big, huge rolls of washi tape, like I feel like I'm never going to finish them. So um, I know some people use like the ones that they don't like, but I don't have any washi tape I don't like. So that's my plan of attack for that. So our die cuts are dry now. I'm going to pull them off and um, word of advice, little trick, if you decide to do this and paint on your die cuts, which I think is beautiful, oh my goodness, I'd love to do this, um, then flip them over. If you, like one of these uh, die cuts I have here is a word, um, it's going to be the title of my page, or, or like that heart had two pieces, pull them off, pull the white paper off the mat, and then flip it over so you can see the cut lines. Because um, if you can um, see the cut lines, it makes it 
really, really easy to pop them out because of course you have painted over them so there is some paint that's kind of holding them to the to the paper. So the easiest way to do it, and I'm showing you right here, is just to flip the paper over so you can see where the cut lines are and then you can kind of easily just pop it out. So here's my title, all popped out and ready to go and look how pretty it looks. Oh, I think it looks so pretty. I love, love, love how these painted die cuts turned out. I just think they, they turned out beautiful. I was so, so happy with them. And the colors on those acrotones were perfect with the flowers from the Belle Boulevard paper. Just, I love how this, how those cut files turned out. So one thing that I'm kind of, I'm going to go ahead here and pull my Spiegel Mom Scraps project, products, projects, products I want to use today. So I'm going to use the Tons of Love White Felt Hearts. I'm going to use a rock and pink ombre sequins, and I'm going to use one of these doilies. And I'm going to use the doily. I, that, that cluster of flowers under my photos is, um, the, it was the edge of the paper. And so I had this straight edge there, and I wasn't, I wasn't loving it. Um, so I was trying to come up with a way of kind of maybe covering it or hiding it. And so what I did was, was I started with that Chantilly doily, and I had it come down under the paper like you see, and then I'm going to place my photos and have them come like right over the seam of the doily, where the doily meets the paper, and e done. It's like magic. Um, <laughs> so I've added two of the die cuts from that Bella Boulevard Make Your Mark line. These products came in my click kit and I've been having a ton of fun creating with that kit and adding and I had really enjoyed using this kit and making some girly pages with it. So I'm going to take the felt hearts. These are the white tons of love felt hearts and they're, look at how many. That's a brand new pack. This is the first time I'm using this pack. So you can see how many felt hearts you get in a pack like there's tons of them and they're so pretty I love this white on white look I love how they provide a little bit of texture but they and they complement the colors in my layout but they're not um, they just they're they're kind of um, because they're white on white they're not um, what's the word they're not heavy they're not heavy on the page uh, so I really really like how these turned out on this page I think it turned out really really good um, so yeah, I just used my Scotch Tacky Adhesive in my fine line bottle um, and put it down. And then my tape runner, I have a new tape runner, but you'll hear more about that in another video on my channel next week. <laughs> so the next thing uh, we're going to do is put these little felt hearts. I'm just adding felt hearts to every part of this. And, and I'm using my glue, but you, another thing you could do is if it worked with the theme or if it worked with the look you're going for on your page, you could always staple them to your page and that looks awesome too. But for this layout, I didn't feel like staples were a good idea. So this is awesome. I love this. Okay, so this it, cut file is a heart explosion cut file from Just Nick Studios. And it, it it's big, but I... I sized it down just to be that size. And now what I'm doing is I'm taking some of the sequins and I just filled them in and glued them into the little holes from the heart explosion. And then I added like one little sequin to each of the little hearts, so that each of the felt hearts, just so that the sequins were kind of spread throughout the page. But I love, 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 love how it looks, how that heart explosion cut file looks with the sequins filling in some of the dots. So cute. And that will complete our page for today. I just added a little bit of a subtitle. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And I will see you again next week for a new Fab Friday. Bye.